And so, Samantha Joe, what did she have to say? Well, Sharon, for Representative Stephanie Murphy, this is personal, and the scenes out of Afghanistan are all too familiar. What I'm watching happening um, is heartbreaking, not just as a refugee, but also as an American. Watching Afghanistan fall to the Taliban reminds Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy of her own family's escape from Vietnam when she was an infant. My mom had worked at the U.S. Air Base um, outside of Saigon. My dad had worked with the South Vietnamese government. And so they were both people who, under the communist regime, were being persecuted because of their affiliation with America. Her family was unable to leave when U.S. forces withdrew from Vietnam in 1970. But nearly four years later, they fled the country by boat. Imagine how hard it must have been to live in that country for my parents to have decided to take an eight-year-old boy and a six-month-old baby girl and get on a boat to sea. We got to international waters and ran out of fuel. And so we were desperately adrift when a U.S. Navy ship um, came upon our boat. So they gave us fuel, food, and water, and that gave us just enough enough to make it to a Malaysian refugee camp. Murphy's family was brought to the U.S. by a Lutheran congregation and relocated to Virginia, changing the trajectory of her life. It's the kind of generosity that has, you know, sailors who are trained for combat decide to extend grace to these desperate strangers on the high seas. You know, for that, I'm forever grateful. Now the Congresswoman is on a mission to give Afghan allies the same shot at a new life. Veterans have been contacting her office, identifying Afghan interpreters trapped under Taliban rule. She says she's been able to assist two interpreters so far. They're sitting on those planes with nothing more than a small bag to restart their lives. But I think that's the story of many Americans, whether it's this generation or five generations ago, coming to this country with hope and a dream. Now she's hoping Afghans still in harm's way will get a shot at a new life in America, just like she did 42 years ago. Now, Murphy is a member of the Armed Services Committee. She did receive a classified briefing on Afghanistan today, and she says she will be monitoring the situation very closely. Sharon? Samantha Joe Roth reporting live from D.C. Thank you.